Hey guys, it's Julia. So today I wanted to do a very quick updated review of my Everlane jeans that I cannot shut up about. But before we get started, I'm new here on YouTube, so if you'd like to subscribe, I usually make content about minimalism, my journey towards minimalism, um, and sustainability efforts that I've been trying to make. So if you like all that, give my video a like and please hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. So as you can tell by this video, I'm just kind of going to be doing an updated version of the review that I already did of the Everlane Curvy Cheeky straight jeans, which I purchased those, I want to say a couple months ago now, in the size 30. I actually never wore the size 30 out. I did end up returning those. Um, so I got the size 29 and they fit a lot more to my preference. So let me go over kind of the sizing and the measurements with you. I'll show you a try on clip of me wearing the 29s. You can kind of see the difference. My point for kind of doing this video is that these jeans do stretch out and it's to help you figure out kind of what size you would prefer um, since these are like a curvy style um, so you don't have to adjust the sizing like for bigger hips okay so with these the size 29 there is like a little bit more of a tightness there so when i size down to the 29 tiny bit of that compression right here at the very widest part of my hip which is kind of what i look for i really think the 29s were a good fit for me. The 30s worked fine. You can watch my other video and see that they weren't huge on me. This is just kind of what I prefer um, with jeans. I mean, they're still, they're still casual enough. And kind of my point of this video is that, um, oops, is that these jeans stretch out so much. But yeah, there's like no, like there's zero wastecaping here but I feel like it's just enough compression with just enough just enough amount of like bagginess I mean I'm being dramatic here these are tight I know these are tight but to me they're relaxed and they do stretch out so 29 is just a better fit for me but I'm making this video to kind of emphasize to kind of emphasize the difference in sizing for you guys to help you decide which one would be better for you Okay, so before we talk about measurements, I do want to say I did not wear the size 30 jeans out. I never washed them. I returned them. So the video that I did on those is pretty much a very raw try on of like them kind of first coming out of the packaging. These 29 jeans, I have gotten wear out of these. I have worn these through quarantine, stretched them out, washed them, put them in the dryer um, and shrunk them in the dryer. I'm wearing them again now. Um, but I feel like they have still stretched out, um, since when I first purchased them just because of the measurements. So we'll talk about that. So I do just want to say, I think I forgot to kind of mention why I do think that these actually have stretched out is because the measurements fresh out of the package of the size 30 was 15 inches across. And these measurements for the size 29 are 15 inches. So you would think that it would be, I don't know, a half an inch, an inch smaller, but it stayed the same. So I think I stretched them out so much just wearing them around the house, honestly. Even when I washed and dried them, I feel like that's why they're the same size. I don't think I measured them fresh out of the package, but um, just knowing that I wore them and stuff, um, I think that is why that they're 15 inches for the waist, same as the 30. Um, but I'm sure if I had worn the 30s and washed those or whatever, same thing with these, that the 30s would be bigger. So um, that was kind of my reason why I think these stretched out, um, but just a little bit. Um, it's kind of confusing because I feel like when I was quarantining um, while I was sick, you can watch my other video about that, but I did get sick. I feel like I've lost a couple pounds, whether that was like water weight or not, but I did wear these in those video where I was sick in quarantine. So check out that video. Um, but they did look a little bit baggier on me then. I feel like I was just losing water weight, but they're tighter on me now and I'm okay with that, but it is kind of confusing to see. Um, so the 29s on the website, looking at the size chart, they're comparable to a size medium or a size eight in jeans. The size chart talks about not the measurements of the garment. It talks about the measurements 
that, that would fit a certain body. It recommends that if your waist is 28 inches, you get the size 29. I don't know if that's normal for like all jeans to really not be the same number, if that makes sense. Like you'd think that they would recommend you get a size 28 if your waist is 28 inches. Um, but I feel like, you know, that kind of happens with all brands is that it's not exact for the hips. It recommends a 43 inch hip to get the size 29. So, um, so going from 28 inches, I have my notes here, going from 28 inches to 43 would be 15 inches. So I think it's the same as the 30. There's a 15 inch difference between the waist and the hip, which is amazing. There is still a difference, you know, 28 inch waist versus the size 29, but also in my body measurement. So my waist is not 28 inches. My waist is probably around 30 to 31 inches at the smallest point. Um, so these jeans, I feel like you can definitely size down if that makes sense. I would say it's about two to three inches off. Um, so I think you can size down. I've already sized down and I prefer this size um, just because I like a tighter fit and they do stretch out and things like that. I didn't like how big the waist felt on the size 30. In my first video, I compared the sizing from the size chart to my body measurements, also to the measurements of the pants themselves, because on Everlane, sometimes the size chart is based on your body measurements, and sometimes the size chart is based on the garment's measurements. So it does differ there, but for these pants, it's based off of your body's measurements. So looking at the garment, the measurements of the garment, after wearing them a bunch, stretching them out, washing them, putting them in the dryer, you know, shrinking them in the dryer, um, the waist measurement is 15 inches, so, you know, the circumference would be 30 inches, which I agree with just because, you know, 30 inch waist, it's pretty snug. So that's how I like it. Um, so the garment itself does kind of compare appropriately to my body measurements, but I believe that you can size down, if that makes sense with the size chart. Um, and then the inseam on these is about 25 and 3 quarters inches. Um, so these are the ankle length as well. I didn't change anything. I got the 30 in ankle and the 29 in ankle and I do like to cuff them a little bit just because it's summer and I feel like it's a little bit more like casual. Um, so 25 and three quarters inches in seam and then for the hips on these I kind of just try to bag them out and measure the widest part. I got 21 inches so that would correlate to a 42 inch hips and that's pretty accurate for me. My hips at the widest part I think are like 40 three inches or something like that um, but I do like a tiny bit of compression just kind of right there that's how the measurements compare I did talk about like I said the measurements for the garment in my other video um, so I kind of just wanted to make this video because I'm obsessed with these jeans I probably talked about these jeans in like three videos already um, I talked about them in my quarantine video I talked about them in my what I no longer buy as a journey towards minimalist person um, and I do have a code for these jeans. It'll be linked down below in the description. This video is not sponsored. I wish I was sponsored by Everlane, maybe someday. Um, but yeah, I do get some credits on Everlane if you shop the link down below. And a couple of people have actually done that already, which I'm so grateful for. So thank you guys um, for that. I just get so excited when I see that I had Everlane credit. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with these jeans. This video is not sponsored. I just wanted to help you guys out and um, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.